your grandmother, right? And her and her mother, they never wore pants. They wore dresses and skirts. Hey, look, I, a lot of our sisters do that. But guess what? That's against God. right because a curse is a bad thing it's terrible right i don't care what people say oh it depends on you no, no no we're not gonna play those games right it says curse that they'll be in the field right when you think of your so-called hispanic brothers and sisters right how are they cursed in the field what do you think about when you hear curse in the field because it's going into the uh the, the working conditions right so when you think about the so-called hispanics how are they cursed in the field You say what? You don't get work? Oh, you don't get the word curse. So curse is a bad thing. So there are bad conditions. Our people are in a, a low estate. So when it's talking about curse, it's talking about how low the Israelites have fallen. You understand that so far? And believe it or not, the Hispanics, the so-called Mexicans, you guys are Issachar. You guys are descended from the tribe of Israel, right? So you're Israelites. So the Hispanics being cursed in the field at a low estate, they're working two, three jobs. Working from uh, 6 a.m. Uh, to 10 p.m. Look, I see my, my so-called Hispanic brothers, and they do landscaping jobs, right? They pick the, uh, the fruit in the fields. They, they, build, they build the houses. We built the whole country. We built the whole country. This is your people. You, you don't work so much. You said God has opened your eyes. Hey, sis, what's your name? Huh? Jennifer. So we're going over the history of who the so-called blacks and Hispanics are today. What's your nationality, Jennifer? You say you're mixed with a lot of races? Okay, give me numbers one, uh, 118 real quick. Because this is what you need to understand, right? Um, is God mixed? No, he's not. So does, let me ask you this. Does God make mistakes? Does God, God make mistakes? What about you, Lord? Does God make mistakes? What about you, Jimmy? God don't make mistakes, right? Right. So give me Numbers 118. Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigree after their families by the house of their father. So remember... The people of Israel declared their lineage, their bloodline, by their fathers. Why do you think they declared, they declared their bloodline by their fathers? You don't know? Jimmy, what about you? No? What about you? Why do you think the father declares the bloodline of the children? Don't go nowhere. I see you, dude. You got to understand this, sis. It's for you. Yes, exactly, because the men carry the sperm. They carry the seed. And what they do with that seed, they implant it into the woman, and the woman gives birth. So guess what? Whatever your father is, sis, that's what you are. So you're a so-called black woman then, right? So look right here. The so-called blacks or the so-called Negroes today, they are the tribe of Judah. That's what God calls you. That's your true nationality. Your nationality is Issachar. Your nationality is Judah. Your nationality is Issachar. That's your son, right? Yeah, see? Your son descends from you. That's what we need to understand. We're not mixed. God don't make mistakes. He don't make mixed race people. No, what happened? Give me uh, Ephraim. Give me that. This is what happened, right? Because you, you can agree, we've been through slavery, right? You've heard about slavery? Yeah? You've been heard about slavery, right? Everybody's heard about slavery. What goes on in slavery? Uh, do we have control over our bodies? No? Are you sure? Okay. Read. The book of Hosea, chapter 7 and verse 8. Ephraim, he hath mixed himself 
among the people. So Ephraim is going to the so-called Hispanic tribes. Don't go nowhere, sis. I'll see you. And so, hey, look, sis, this is important for you, all right? Because listen, you got, you're an Israelite woman, all right? You're a princess according to the Most High God. And he's hold you to a higher standard than everybody else on this earth. It says Ephraim, right, has mixed himself, meaning they have laid with the other nations. Read. Ephraim is a cake not turned. Everybody know what a cake looks like, right? When you bake a cake or a pancake, right? Everything is uh, one one side is dark, the other side is light, right? So it's the same thing with us today. Guess what, sis? You look at me, right? I'm from the tribe of Judah. So I'll be a so-called black man today, but I'm a lighter skin tone than you. A cake not turned. Same thing with you. A cake not turned. And yeah, whoever you over there with, they gotta come over here too and listen to this. They gotta listen to this too. Look, this is what we need to understand, right? This is our true history right here. This is what happened to us. This is why we have different shades of brown. You would look, if y'all look at each other right now, you guys are literally different shades of brown. There's three different shades right here look, as I'm looking at y'all right now. So this is what we need to understand. Give me Jeremiah 17, 4. Actually, give me Jeremiah 22, 5. Let's see you trying to go. Let's see you trying to leave, sis. But we're going to get into this because this is what you need to do. Because you got to keep the commandments. Right. You want the kingdom of heaven, right? Right. Okay, let's find out what you got to do. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it up. No woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So now, it's talking about garments. Garments are clothing. You following so far? It says a woman should not wear that which belongs to a man. So what article of clothing belongs to men, sis? It's not maybe, it is. It is pants. It is pants, sis. That's what it is. You can have, you agree with that, right? Does that make sense? Pants belong to men. You know what, throughout history, uh, if your grandmother, right, and her and her mother, they never wore pants. They wore dresses and skirts. Hey, look, a lot of our sisters do that. But guess what? That's against God. That's against God. Booty shorts, pants, yes. Because what are you doing? When you put those booty shorts on or those pants, what are you doing to yourself? No, you're not trying to look cute. Finish this out and give me the bit against 19. Great. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Hey, I, hey, I know, hey, that hurt, didn't it? Yeah, I know. God called you an abomination. So our, our, our young men or our men today that put on dresses, because you see a lot of athletes that do that, right? LeBron James, Russell Westbrook, uh, Tyler Perry, Martin Lawrence, they put on uh, dresses for these movies or these actor roles, right? God calls that an abomination. Right. Family.